guys welcome back to my channel my name is vivian if you are new here i like to make faith related videos lifestyle videos and any videos that god puts on my heart today's video i want to show you guys how you can make a prayer spot anywhere in your house i personally don't have a separate room i don't have a closet um that i can use for just a prayer spot so i use literally a corner of my house you don't need much uh, but you do need a spot and you do need to pick a spot and it really helps with your prayer life it helps with consistency and it just really helps just having a spot where you know like this is the spot where i spend time with god now if you guys have been here before you know i used to have a tent if you guys don't know i'll put some clips here but i used to have a tent and that was um my prayer spot for a while but after a while i kind of just felt for one i felt kind of hot in there Two, it looked kind of bulky in my house, like taking up um, a lot of space. And I also just wanted a desk where I can just study the word more, which is where you guys are at now. I'm literally sitting at my desk. So I'm going to show you guys my prayer spot and just give you guys some tips to be organized and how I prioritize prayer and my schedule and how you can do that as well. So let's get right into the video. This is my living room here. I have my day bed and then I have my couch and I want you guys to see like this little corner right here um, is what I use for my prayer spot so you don't need anything crazy anything huge a very big space as long as you can get just a corner for yourself um, that you could just make your prayer spot you're going to be fine. I want to show you guys that you don't need a full room. If you have an extra room, if you have an extra prayer closet, that's great. That would be even better. But this is just to show you guys, like, you don't need a lot. Just get a corner and make it your spot. So let's get right into the desk area first. This little hallway into my prayer spot. Um, the first thing you'll see is this chair. And this chair was actually a gift from my mom. It has a leg rest. And yeah, it's a pretty cool chair, super comfy and perfect for prayer. Now I'm gonna scoot this back. Here is my desk. This is a very, very simple desk. I got it from Amazon for $40. Um, it has the this hook right here where I'm able to put my headphones and it's supposed to be sticking outwards, but I made it sticking inwards because obviously I don't have a lot of space. And here I have um, a bookshelf that came with this desk and in here I just have some books that I'm reading right now I have a bookshelf in my room but these are my main books that I'm really really reading right now if you guys haven't read this book I 100% recommend it love the way to victory by Kenneth E. Hagan this is what I'm reading right now and it's really helping me in my love walk of course because I pray here I have my notebook and in this notebook you're gonna find some love confessions so this is what i read over myself every day so i can remember to walk in love and just be show the god kind of love every day i am patient i am kind i am not jealous i am not cocky i am not proud i am not rude i do not demand my own way i am not easily irritated i keep no records of wrong i never give up i never lose hope i never lose faith I am always hopeful. I endure through every circumstance. I keep no records of wrong. So super important that you keep a notebook near you for prayer. So I have my main books, like I said here. Um, I believe I've showed you guys this one before, but this is to help with prayer. This is a really good book if you're wanting to have a closer, more intimate prayer life. I recommend getting this one, The Master is Calling by Lynn Hammond. So this book is all about prayer. And it just breaks all religiousness like because sometimes we can have a religious view on prayer but really we're just talking to god and this is going to help you with that so totally recommend this book now i'm going to show you guys what i keep on top of my desk and just some key things that i have here first thing of course is my bible i have i get this asked a lot and i don't really mention it because i forget this new spirit filled life bible the new living translation this lamp is from target and it just has some really cool um little files here i have this post-it that just kind of has some videos that i wanted to be posting for this month and i know i missed last week it was supposed to be a vlog but i promise you guys i'm getting back in the groove and i'm gonna give you guys a vlog this month 
this lamp also has a little like pencil and pen holder here and it does have a usb connection and it also has a plug right there so this light comes in super handy um for just when i'm reading and just holding my pens and even a plug and it is a yellow light but i do like the yellow light when i'm reading so i don't mind it i'm also right next to a plug i wanted to put my desk where there was a plug for my lamp and just any other electronics that i need to charge like this is for my speaker and my headphones and then i have my apple watch um charger here as well i have some post-its here this is just for any little notes i want to take any reminders and then i have some post-its here like for example this one it says i give the word first place in my life this is a transparent um post-it and then i have two other post-its here so this is how i use my post-its uh, i have a scripture from proverbs but you lazy bones how long will you sleep so since i like to pray in the morning i put the scripture here so i don't miss prayer and if i do miss prayer and i read it the next day i'm like okay no more sleeping in because a little extra sleep a little folding of the hands and then boom poverty will pounce on you like a bandit and then again i have this um this is just a love scripture and i just put my name because i just need to be reminded to love people every day because the struggle is real sometimes but jesus loves us so we love people even if they are annoying amen <laughs> today i choose joy the joy of the lord is my strength so this is a daily reminder for me joy is actually the word that really i feel like that's just my word for this year is just to carry joy so it's a good reminder to see right now i'm meditating on this scripture so i have this out here and i do keep some what is this called what are these called oh my gosh flashcards here i made this little check off for reading the bible and right now i, I want to reread the new testament i've read it before but uh this is just something that i like to keep so i can keep track of what i've read in the new testament and what i haven't read just so i can keep refreshing my mind and just going into other books because i tend to lean towards like timothy a lot and i lean towards um matthew and john and i lean towards hebrews and james a lot so i want to get into all the books not just those so and ephesians is another one i like to read and then i also have like a booklet one and here it's just um promises on fruitfulness i also have a phone holder here just whenever i have music playing if i want it playing on my phone i like to have it here sometimes if i want a different translation I'll just go ahead and pull it up here in the Bible app that I have. And if I want to read a different translation, I can always go here. So I like to have my phone holder as well. And as you guys saw, I have a lighter and I have a candle here. Um, and I have this fake plant. That's really just for um, the aesthetic side of it. And here, this is just a plate for my camera. I actually don't know why this is here. It doesn't even belong here. So this is what I have going on here. And this is where I like to read my Bible. And I also will pray here if I want. But I usually tend to lean. I lean towards this way for prayer. Because I like to sit down. I like to sit down for prayer. Which if you guys have been following me for a while. Like I've had many different prayer spots. Different setups. But this chair has come with me everywhere. This is my prayer chair. This is where I sit down and I talk to the Lord. So this is my prayer chair. I got it from Amazon. Um, I like to sit down when I pray. And I could also sit on my desk chair. But I do prefer to sit on this chair. Just because I just always use this chair for prayer. So it is my prayer chair. And I got this from Amazon. And behind here I do keep this desk. Um, honestly, ever since I got my bigger desk, I don't use this one, but this is kind of more like when I was in the tent. It is like a little miniature desk that opens up and then it has like little like, it's a sitting down desk. So this is also, uh, something handy that I have. If I ever want to study down here, if I want a desk, another thing you're going to want is a speaker. Um, I got this speaker from 
Best Buy. I kind of wish I would have got a smaller speaker. Honestly, a JBL, the small ones, kind of sound very similar to these. This might be a little bit tiny bit louder, but it's just so big for I don't know what reason. But this is a speaker. It's a Sony. Uh, I prefer the JBL over this. So if you guys are going to get a speaker, I would go with the JBL instead of this one. I think this one's 200 and the JBL is a little bit cheaper than this. So have a speaker on deck and then I have this little chair here. This chair right here is considered an Otterman. So I do have some stuff in here. I have some more pens and highlighters in here. Um, this is actually a Bible case. So if I ever want to do like a Bible study with the girls and I want to take my Bible and my highlighters, this is just like my little portable Bible thing that I have. And I just have some random stuff in here, honestly. I have some scriptures, some spiritual verses. I really need to organize in here. And then I have some leadership stuff in here. So yeah, it's a nice little storage here. And then I have my speaker that I put here. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. This is my prayer spot. It's very simple. You do not need a lot. You don't need a whole room or anything crazy. Just get a spot and you make it your daily prayer spot. I've been loving this new setup. I love having the option of praying here or praying at my desk or when I read my Bible or I do Bible studies. I love having a desk and just being able to really zone in into just the Bible and just reading my books here is the best. And of course, I have this light here and I also have this light, which helps me if I ever read down here. Yeah, I really wanted to show you guys my new prayer spot and I really wanted to encourage you because I know sometimes we see people's fancy prayer closets and their prayer rooms and their war rooms, which is great and that's amazing and it's an amazing goal to have. I want to have a whole closet or a whole room dedicated to prayer one day and I will one day. But right now, I'm working with what I have and just having a corner in my room or I'm having a corner in my living room right now is what I'm working with. Like even my husband, um, he has a workstation over there on the other side of the living room. So we're just working with what we have and being faithful with what God has entrusted us with. And the Bible says, if you aren't faithful with a little, you won't be faithful with much. So being faithful with this little corner, this little prayer spot, I know that one day, God is going to trust me to have a house with an extra room that could be dedicated to just prayer. Because I'm faithful here with little. I'm going to be faithful with much. So I just want to encourage you guys. You don't need something crazy and super fancy. Um, I want to show you guys how I block schedule my prayer time and my reading time into my schedule. I work, um, I work part time. I go to the gym. I'm a mom. I'm married, um, I have date nights, I'm a leader in the church, I have groups, um, I have church on Sundays, I'm very involved in ministry, I have my social media platforms that I need to manage as well. I'm busy, but I don't want that to be an excuse of why I'm not praying and why I'm not spending time with God. If you don't tell your time where to go, your, your time is going to just fly by. So that's why block scheduling and making sure that you have a set time for prayer is important. Now, before I get into it, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Sometimes you're going to oversleep. Sometimes you're going to be too tired to wake up and that's fine. But the point is that you have a set time and a set place. Whatever time you have your prayer time, that's up to you. Just make sure that it's consistent. And I like to do it in the morning because Jesus prayed in the morning. Um, my pastor, he prays in the morning and he always says that like I pray in the morning because Jesus prayed early in the morning. So following the best example, which is Jesus. So let me show you guys what exactly I do for this. At 6 a.m. I shower. Even if I shower at night, I still like to shower in the morning just so I can wake up because I am really sleepy in the morning. And if I want to be awake during prayer, I have to make an effort to wake up. Even if I have to put cold water for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, however long, or even if I just have to wet my face with cold water so I can wake up, it's something that I do and I give myself 15 minutes for that. And then I have prayer from 6.15 to 7.15 a.m. And then I have the word from 7.15 a.m. 
to 8, 7.45 a.m. So this is like devotionals and just reading. And then from 7.45 to 8.30, I get ready. I pack my coffee and my lunch, 8.30 a.m. And drive off to work by 8.45 a.m. So this is Monday through Friday, okay? Am I perfect at this? No. Do I have good weeks? Yes. Do I have bad weeks? Yes. So one thing is for when it comes to prayer and just having a schedule, one thing you don't want to do is get like so religious to the point where if you miss prayer, you feel like you can't do something for God or you can't do anything for God. We're not, we don't qualify ourselves by praying. That's not what qualifies us to do anything for God. God's the one that qualifies us for one. And two, it's not us, it's God in us. So we can't get so religious and just beat ourselves up if we miss prayer. Yes, consistency is key. But the point of prayer is to spend time with God because the more time you spend with God, the more God can just mold you, the more God can help you, the more God can deliver the, deliver you, the more you can encounter God, the more you encounter God, the more you change. And that's the point of having a prayer schedule and having prayer time and spending time with God. It's not because you're holier than thou and you're this great Christian that prays every day for one hour straight and then reads the word for 30 minutes every day. No, it's not about that. It's about spending time with your dad, making sure that you have you spend time with him and if you miss prayer then just receive your grace and you're fine you should be talking to god all day anyways but this time in the morning is for you to be with god alone before you get your day started talk to god see if god wants to tell you anything see if you need to hear anything from god and prayer is just so amazing and spending time with god is just awesome my best advice is to just be faithful and be as consistent as you can and like I said, some days you're going to miss it and that's okay. As long as the next day you get up and you do it again and you spend time with God. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys my prayer, my new prayer spot. And I wanted to show you guys how I schedule out my time to spend time with God and what I do. That's going to be all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making videos. I really miss making YouTube videos. Uh, I am going to try to be making them weekly. I'm going to try to give you guys another video because I missed last week. So I'm going to try my hardest. But I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And if you do have a prayer spot or if you're improving your prayer spot, or you're changing your prayer spot, or you're barely making a prayer spot, I want to see pictures. You guys can email them to me or you guys can send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to see your prayer spot. So I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.